Hi, Scorpio here with a reading for the sign of Scorpio. If this reading could resonate with anybody who has Scorpio strongly in their chart, sun, moon, sun, moon rising, and Venus. I will be representing Scorpio, so um, cross watchers are welcome, but just know that um, I may be biased towards Scorpio. This read is a reading for them, and I am in a re representation of them. Let's go ahead and get started, my friends, and see what's here for you for the month. Connecting into Scorpio energy, connecting into Scorpio energy. All right, here we go. Let's see what's here. We have the King of Cups in a neutralized position, but we still have a King of Cups here, and I'm going to put him in the upright. That's Scorpio energy. The Hermit around you, Hermit, Virgo type energy around you. And ending the month, what, how are you going to end the month? Three of Pentacles energy, very nice, very nice. Right. Your frequency for the first part of the month, the frequency that you will carry. Gosh, there's a lot here. Five of Rods flipped over, Eight of Cups, Queen of Rods, and I think there's another one somewhere in here that flipped. Looking at the frequency for Scorpio for the first couple of weeks, Queen, uh, King of Swords, King of Swords energy. Okay, in the second uh, half, second half of the month, frequency for Scorpio for the second half of the month, Two of Swords. All right, I'm going to clarify a little bit before we start. Uh, what is the King of Swords uh, focused on? What is the King of Swords focused on? What is the King of Swords focused on? Page of Rods. And what is the Two of Swords connecting in with Two of Swords? Six of Pentacles. And let's look at the Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles here. We have the Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Swords. Interesting. Okay. We have the King and Queen of Swords, um, and we have we have uh, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. We have uh, Virgo energy. We have Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Masculine, Queen of Pentacles, uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Feminine, and Queen of Swords. Um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Feminine. So. Uh, Scorpio, you're coming into the month in a masculine energy. No matter if you're a female or a ma male, you're in a masculine energy. And at the end of the month, you're going to be in a more feminine energy. So that's what we have um, you moving through. So, all right, let's go ahead and get started. Scorpio, you're coming into the month in a, uh, in a natural way for you. It is a masculine energy. So you are uh, in action. You're busy. You're doing something. You're outside. People see you. Uh, it, it is for the betterment of the good and you're in your in in an effort to to help make something better so you, you are in action you're either helping yourself or you're helping someone else offering your love offering your guidance I'm helping in some way um, it does have a little bit of a shyer energy but there's a deep feeling within and there is motivation for you um, coming from a place of um, a deep desire or a deep need to help or a a deep connection with another person or with a cause or something like that. So you're in a willing place, an active place, and your heart is really involved and you're in a natural way. So I think that you are going to be at a strong place. I think you are going to be enjoying yourself. And um, I, I uh, see you in some sort of help position in some way. Uh, now, for the first for the first couple of weeks, your frequency is a king of swords. So you are working for the future. You are designing your future, uh, doing something for the future, the better good of the future, the future of the better good, something like that um, with the king of swords. Now, the king of swords is a, a, a part of you that really recognizes the truth, recognizes the value to doing something, recognizes that what you're doing today and the, and the focus that you're having today is going to help bring in um, new um, new opportunities for you. And I think that you are 
recognizing the value of these changes and the value of these opportunities. It is um, with the page of rods. It is something that is exciting and it doesn't it, it does enhance your future, uh, and and it's something that you're recognizing is very important. So not only are you uh, in action to help make something better or to bring improvement or to connect in in a in an emotionally healthy way, you're also I'm recognizing the value of that for your own good, for your own advancement, for your own future horizons uh, um, as a king of swords. So it does come with a unique quality of connecting into the future in a in a, a more robust way. So a very strong masculine energy here. And I think that you are going to be enjoying yourself as you're moving forward. You do have a hermit energy around you. And I think this person is probably a very aware of you. Could be a Virgo, could be an earth energy. Um, that this person is in a masculine energy. What so a lot of masculine energy? If this is a, a feminine person, this person is in a is is in a this person is a moving forward. This this person is moving forward in a way that's an improvement for them. They've thought about what they're doing or what they have done, and they're moving forward in a better way for themselves and for others. And I think there is uh, a person here who is inspiring to you or is shining a light of hope or is shining a light of peace or is coming towards you in in a in a way of, okay, um, how can we work together? How can we do this? I have an idea. Uh, this person is, in, I, I feel like this person is, um, from their perspective, is is holding a, a light of, a beacon of light. There, there's somebody here who's, who feels like they they have and they hold a certain um, concern for others, a, a certain beacon beacon of hope, beacon of light, energy coming from this person. So, um, I think that the person around you, that what, whoever I'm connecting into into here, has been in a quiet place. They have been going through growth energy. They've been learning. Their ego might have the way they see themselves might have changed. They might see themselves a little bit differently than they did before. And there might be, uh, they could just be, there, there, there's some truth here that they're holding within themselves that is helping them to be the guiding light that they are. Uh, and as the month goes on, you are moving into the Two of Swords. Now, the Two of Swords is really about um, about Scorpio, like, um, seeing the truth of something. And there's something here that you might not have been able to know before, or you might not have recognized as important before, or there's something here that you might have not been able to share. You might have even, you might not have been able to share it, but with the two of swords, I think that you are breaking through that kind of barrier. And uh, it does like you're, you're, you're finding a way to make use of this. It's either some information that you had, an idea that you were working on, something that you um, had in your back pocket, in your toolbox, in your briefcase. Now you're in some way like you're sharing it, you're working on it, you're revealing it, and it's coming with the Six of Pentacles. So you're, you're recognizing that there is going to be a benefit here for you. There is going to be a benefit here for you. And I think that it does connect in with this other person in a way that... Um, May, maybe even helps them to feel fulfilled or to feel validated. Uh, and it might even help to light their flame as well. So, um, you could be learning something from the, from the, from the hermit energy, or you could be sharing something with a, with, with a Virgo or that type of a person. Or there could be information going back and forth with this person. But I, I do feel like this person or this group of people is very much connected. And I feel like the, they're watching. They're watching their, they have their own perspective. They have their own opinion. There could be an advisor here. There could be someone here that comes forward as an advisor or as special counsel. Uh, but they do have a very wise, um, they could be older than you. They have a very wise way of being. You also have a very wise way. So it's almost like great minds and what great minds can do together. And it does look like the Six of Pentacles, like you are realizing or, or recognizing or you're even figuring out a way that whatever you're doing, whatever you're focused on, whatever action you're about to take, that there is actually a way forward here that could be quite nice for you. And it could it could even connect in with money. It could connect in with more income. It could connect in with um, something that gives back to you in a way that's fair and right for you. So I do. there, there is a new project or uh, a new system or something that you have here that you are beginning to share now. You are beginning to move out into the marketplace or something um, in a way that you haven't done before. So that's really great. And I like to see the Six of Pentacles connected to that. I, you know, you've waited. You've waited and worked on this until you know, until you you can be, you have waited and have worked on this until you have gotten to the point where 
uh, you can do this in a way that's fair and right for, for more than just you, but mainly for you too with the Six of Pentacles. Uh, Six of Pentacles is really recognizing, okay, for what I'm doing and the value of what I have and the effort that I'm putting into it, I'm recognizing that I knew I do need to have the return. Um, when we don't have the Six of Pentacles, we have the Five of Pentacles or the Four of Pentacles, and that is a, a, a more reduced capacity. So you're you're moving in strength here. You really are moving in strength here, and you're you're you're, you're you've come across something that's that is um, lucrative for you. I feel like you're coming across something, and it's something that you've developed, something that you have connection to, uh, that you're you're releasing, you're sharing, you're working on it. And the goal is to improve your financial situation or to make things fair and right between you and another person. And it does come with a, a furthering the energy of abundance, connecting into the energy of uh, making, you know, making sure that your, uh, your effort is paying off for you. Um, it's not just giving, giving, giving. You are receiving, receiving, receiving as well. Um, as you're moving out of the month, you have the, the Three of Pentacles here. So, yeah, you're busy at work. You're working on something. Um, connecting in with the Queen of Swords, which is about communication, it's about understanding other people, advocating for other people. It's also about noticing things, noticing when things are off, noticing when things are um, when, when things are wrong, when things need to be fixed. That's the Queen of Swords. Being able to say the hard things, being able to point something out that's hard, like oh my, oh my God, goodness, did you see that crack crack in the in the in the windshield? Yes, uh, you know, it's, it's like. I don't know why did that I don't know why that came up um, and then we have the Queen of Pentacles here and the Queen of Pentacles is recognizing um, how much work it's going to be how to do it in the best way for me this is connecting in with occupations careers projects uh, per, um, refining a craft developing a new product um, it it, it it is connecting in with money, how to make it, how to be um, self-reliant, and also with the Queen of Swords, a special talent you have to notice things, to, to advocate for people, to recognize the pain and also the beauty in uh, people who suffer and people who make changes in their lives. So there's something, it could be a message that you're writing, a book that you're writing, a piece of artwork that you're ma making, a sculpture that you're creating. Uh, a new product that connects in with um, um, helping someone to become more um, healthy, uh, connected with the Queen of Swords. So definitely something that you're working on here. You could have two people working on this as well. Uh, Queen of Swords, um, which is, uh, you know, you have the, the air couple here, the King and Queen of Swords. So ultimately, this is about the future. It is about the future. It is about... Um, a unique path for you or something very interesting that you're doing. Uh, and it does connect in. When we have the king and queen, it does connect in with humanity, um, human causes, human problems. It doesn't have to even be human. It could be anything that is here to be protected and to be guided along. And it does come with good decisions, uh, expanded horizons, more opportunity in the future. So, um, I, I think this is a good, strong month for Scorpio. There are some new things you're working on, and um, you have a strong balance of energy. You have a strong masculine energy, and you have a strong feminine energy, and you also have a, a, a balanced way of making decisions. So whatever you're doing this month, this is a chariot energy for you. Right? If I could pull one card and say one card for you, Scorpio, for the month is a chariot energy. It's having a good understanding of what you're doing and then being able to take action in a way that's right and good for you. That connects in with success. You know, you're still at the beginning process, but you you have, um, there could even be like four or five different people here. But in the spread, this is mostly your energy connecting in uh, with, with the hermit as well. So uh, yeah, we have a queen of swords. This is, this is a uh, balancing, balancing, um, where the where the heart pulls us with the practical mind, where the heart pulls us balanced with the practical mind. And I this is connected with um for many of you, this is connected with a career, a hobby, something and something you're developing for the future. 
And it could be quite unique for you, quite unique and quite specialized for, for this group of Scorpios. Could be a relationship, could be a project, could be something you're doing at work. Uh, but for many of you, this is really about um, self-advancement, self, self, um, uh, self-advancement. That's what is what generally for this month. So good power month, good power month for Scorpio. I like that a lot. I like seeing the six of pentacles here. I like seeing the page of rods here. I like seeing this strong chariot energy here. And then for many of you there, this could be couples that are working together or, you know, uh, making something happen together as a team, possibly. Okay, let's look at money. Looking at money now for Scorpio. Looking at money for Scorpio. Looking at money for Scorpio. the nine of rods with the ten of pentacles with temperance energy hermit energy so that's connecting it with a hermit um, well when you're connecting in with this hermit energy it's connected the hermit has something to do with money and I felt like that in the general reading from many of you it's about money income self-advancement um, you're connecting in with the hermit energy there's something that you're learning to do there's something that you know how to do something that you've learned something that you've experienced and has taught you um, something and you know how to do this are you ready to do it or is it time um, I think that it is time but you're at a place where you're being so very careful you're being so very careful um, you've been wounded you've been hurt you've been um, down I, I like I, I just see this picture of you down on a sidewalk, you know, like in the, in a, some of you could have experienced humiliation. Some of you could have went through an accident. Some of you could have tripped up on something. And yes, you've learned from it. Yes, there's been wisdom here. Yes, there is a, a, a beautiful quality within you that really is um, uh, something inspiring that you can move forward with. But are you, it's like, it's like, you know, it's time, but are you ready? You know, it's time, but are you ready? Um, you're, you're still tired. But the thing about the nine of rods is there's, there's also like a, a deep knowing that it's important. It's important. This is like a, yeah. So, so you have that kind of energy here. Here's the thing. The 10 of pentacles is here. There's a long-term improvement here for you. Um, there is financial security here and there is a long-term plan and there is support and there is um, encouragement here. So you do have the 10 of pentacles, which is a legacy energy. You do have the resources that you need. You you have the way forward. You have the resources you need. And um, as you're moving forward, you do have temperance here. So I believe you're working on something new. You're working on some sort of a new project, project or something new that you're doing. You are able to do it. You do have the resources. It's just a matter of practicing, um, maybe doing a couple test runs, uh, maybe it's like, okay, should I do this? Uh, it, it's like, um, you know, it's like when you're creating a brand, a brand for yourself, like, let's say you're making a video. It's like, how do, what, what kind of opening, what kind of opening do I want? What kind of introduction do I want? Uh, and, and it could be like, should I use music? Well, let me try music and see what it feels like. And you might make one and you're like, ah, uh, I don't know. Let me try this song. I don't know. Maybe I need to talk or maybe I need to have a, you know, maybe I don't need an interest. Like, having the patience and enjoyment to do something and see how it goes and then work it, work it a little bit and fix it a little bit. And it really is okay. A little of this and a little of that. It's like creating a beautiful recipe, a recipe that's just for you, a recipe that you've created. And it can be done in so many different ways. There's so many different recipes out there, right? It's like, okay, how does this work for me? How does it feel good to me? Um, and, and it's like giving, giving yourself the time that you need and the patience that you need to be able to create a product or a situation or an experience that is most perfectly suited to you. You do have a way forward and you do have a deep understanding. 
Uh, you also are tired. And so I think it, it feels to me like one of the goals here is to do it in a very simple way. Simple is best here because you're at this place of being tired and bruised and worn out. So, and there is something that you're doing. The hermit usually moves forward into a better, improved experience through his own wisdom and his own hard work. And he doesn't get caught up in all the, all the, um, the, the hermit is very simple. He, he, he can avoid temptation. He can see through the motives of people. He doesn't like a lot of free things. You know, he realized like, uh, is free really free? <laughs> it's not. It usually comes with some sort of tie or guilt or, you know, something like that. So it, there is a desire here for simplicity, ease. You're tired. You don't want it to be complicated. You want it to work well. You want it to be correct. You, you don't want to do it over a whole bunch of times. And that timbrous energy is here to help you to mold it, to try it, to, to maybe correct it, to edit it, to try it again. Maybe add this, maybe add that. That's a temperance energy. So um, I think financially you're okay this month. You are working on something new and you're giving yourself the time uh, to really make it work. And you have the resources, whether it's people around you that are supportive, whether it's money around you that's there, um, whether it's some sort of a position that you've acquired that connects in with, uh, with financial security, you do have what it takes this month financially. So that's, that's a good energy. That's, uh, for Scorpio. Good job, Scorpio. I think you're working on something important here. Let's go into love, going into love for Scorpio. I have been saying romantic love, but as much as I fight it, the cards that are coming down the table are so very practical. So I'm just going to say love, <laughs> just saying love because so far today, that's just been very practical, real energy. Let's see what Scorpio has for love. Scorpio for love. There we go. Scorpio, love. We have the Empress energy. We have the Knight of Rods, or the Knight of Rods, yes, with the High Priestess in reverse. Wow. Somebody, somebody's coming towards the, the strong feminine. So we have a strong feminine here. It could be a mother figure, could be a, a, a person who's in, in charge of a company or is creating something, a piece of artwork or a new product or something that can connect in with the Empress too. But definitely a strong feminine energy here who's been through a lot, knows a lot, and maybe has a certain amount of control or a lot of control in her life. Uh, there's something coming towards her. Uh, there's something that she's going to experience this month that's going to come in quick. Um, we have the high priestess here. There, so there is a person. It feels like this person is connecting in. There's a person who's been very quiet, who's been learning a lot, who has a deep sense of self, and, and probably somebody who's highly spiritual is coming in um, in a rapid way. And she's now talking. She She could be unhinged. She could be... Uh, she's talking, she's moving forward in a quick way. So this person, this high priestess in reverse, she has been very quiet, very calm. Um, she's, it's almost like the hermit energy, but now she's losing that and she's coming forward in a very excitable or passionate way quickly towards the empress with something. So she's probably wanting the empress to be doing something, um, what does the High Priestess have to say to the Empress? What does the High Priestess have to say to the Empress? I have to make sure my cards are... What does the High Priestess have to say to the Devil Energy? Damn. What does the High Priestess have to say to the Empress? Eight of Wands. What does the High Priestess... Oh, my gosh. Well, something has not been healthy. Um, the High Priestess is... Um, not agreeing with the Empress. She's not agreeing with Empress. There's something that has been, oh, here is the King of Cups, a masculine King of Cups, Scorpio Pisces Cancer. We have the Five of Swords, which is an argument or a contradiction. And we have the Devil Energy, which is intensity, anger, frustration, seeing um, some, this High Priestess is very smart. There could be something that's very controlling, very dominating, very ugly. Um, from the perspective of the high priestess and she's coming forward with a message 
could be anger, could be frustration towards the empress. Uh, something here connected in with the king of cups. Somebody has made a decision that the high priestess does not agree with and she's frustrated with it and it's taken her over the edge. No longer can she sit quietly in the background and uh, she now she's letting go of how she feels and she's coming forward very passionately towards the empress. How does the empress feel about the high priestess? How does the empress feel? Six of swords, six of swords. She feels like the high priestess has, is developing her own understanding. She recognizes um, how far the high priestess has come in her life. Um, uh, this person could be traveling from out of state or out of the area and coming into the area quite quickly with some sort of requirement or request or um, an argument that she has. How does the high priestess feel about what, how does the empress feel about the high priestess's message? That's what I want to know. How does the empress feel about the high priestess's message? How does the empress feel about the message? The fool, this is something new. That's what the knight of wands does. <laughs> this is something new, something new to the empress, something that the empress has not thought of or something that she hasn't realized or something that she hasn't done. Um, she's going to be stepping into a situation that she hasn't done. It, she hasn't experienced it before. Let's see if anything. How does, how does she? And she could be realizing that the high priestess is doing something new. Now she's worried about this. She could have been thinking about it for a while. She's worried about it. She's maybe wondering when it's going to happen or something like that. The three of swords. Uh, we have sadness here. We have, um, I'm hearing un unfortunate events, unfortunate events. So the, this Empress energy, this Empress person has suffered. And I think that she's recognizing that the high priestess has also suffered. There's a common suffering, a common suffering that's, that's in the line of energy, in that cord of energy from one person to the other. There's a line of suffering, um, but there's also something new here. And I think that it's, it's a, it, it is something that the Empress is going to take a good, long, hard look at. Um, let's dig into the Knight of, the Knight of Rods. What is this Knight of Rods? What is this Knight of Rods? What is it? What is this Knight of Rods? What is this Knight of Rods? Nine of Rods, Chariot Energy, in reverse, Chariot in reverse. <laughs> well, whatever the High Priestess is saying, it's very hard. It's hard for her to say. Uh, she doesn't know how she feels about it. It's very hard for her to say. She's, it's like she's refusing something that's happened. She's refusing something. She's saying, no, uh, I'm not doing it that way. I'm doing it another way. I'm going to do it this way. And this is something new to the Empress, something that Empress hasn't quite realized yet, or she ha hasn't known about it yet. I feel like the Empress is changing. There's something that's changing here, something that's changing. Something that's not happening, and instead of it not happening, something else is happening. A change of plans, and that change of plans is coming in quite quickly. How does the Empress feel about the Knight of Rods? How does the Empress feel about the Knight of Rods? Three of Pentacles is something to work on. So it feels like in the past, this Empress was bothered by something the High Priestess had done, or she was bothered by something that the High Priestess was doing. And now we have, and the High Priestess was in a quiet, careful, um, maybe even quietly stubborn way, connecting into the higher self. So the high priestess is usually connected in to her intuition and what she feels is right. And she's also connected into special qualities that she has. Okay, she's now moving out of that energy and moving forward, I feel like, in more of a fiery space. And she's coming forward and saying, I'm not going to do the old thing. I'm doing this. I'm doing this instead. It's easier for me. Um, it, it requires less effort. And the high priestess is like, dang, I hadn't thought of that. And she, there's something new and it's something that she's even willing to work on. She's losing her own hesitation. She's losing her own fear. And she herself might even be willing to step on this bandwagon. 
Oh my gosh, there's like a transformation here or a change between two people. It looks like the high priestess has had to do all the changing, and I think that's frustrating. Like, why has that? Well, that's the right, I mean, the Empress, she gets it all, doesn't she? <laughs> uh, there is something here that's quite angering connected into the high priestess. Why does the high priestess have to change? Why does the high priestess have to change? That makes me really mad. And maybe that's why it's taken so long for this to happen. And I bet you the high priestess has found a way to do it in, in a way that's okay for her. And I think that's what she's saying. Um, she's figured out a way to do something that is something that the empress is is willing to partake in. And it's something new that the empress hasn't done before. I think the empress is going to like this. But the high priestess has been through a journey just to get to this place. How does the high priestess feel about this change? How does the high priestess feel about this change? Ace of Swords. It's a yes. It's required. It's good. It's a good decision. It could be a gift from above. It could be a gift from above. It's information. She has a plan now. She has a plan. Now that she has a plan, she can move forward. How does she feel about it? How does she feel about it? Five of Pentacles. It could have been something she had to do. It could have been something she had to do. What's this card? Excuse me. Yeah, there's a change in energy. Oh my gosh, there's a change in energy. It's been sitting around in your Pandora's box. Well, whoever's whoever the high priestess is, Scorpio, it could be you or it could, you could be the empress. But whatever is happening, this has been sitting around in the high priestess's uh, Pandora's box. Something she's been working on, something she's been thinking about, something she's been developing, and she's been very quiet about it. Now it's opening up. It's opening up. It's a surprise to the empress, but it's opening up. She's opening up. She's opening up. How does she feel about it? Ace of Cups. It's good. It's healthy. It's right. She's had to overcome her own. In a way, she's had to overcome her own ego or the way she thinks about herself. And now she's moving forward with something that's right. It's healthy. It could be a new love. Um, it, it's it's a healed heart. Uh, it's, it's a kind of self-care. But there's also a plan of action here, too. And we have it happening quite quickly. Um, and it's going to be something that the high, uh, that the Empress is enjoying, something that she can help with, and something that she's not done before. Wow. This is stuff that the universe can do, right? And the High Priestess connects to the universe. No matter what the Empress requires, no matter what she sits on her mighty throne, right? She sits on her mighty throne and she gets what she... I mean, that's the uh, Empress... When we get to be the matriarch, you know, um, the, the, it's like the queen, you know, the princesses and the princes have to really change if the queen demands it, but this is something the queen is going to like. The matriarch is going to like this, but it has required the high priestess to adjust herself. And I think that this takes a little while. This takes a little time, but look at these aces that are here. Really good energy. Really good energy for Scorpio. Really good news here. Um, yes, somebody has really had to change their perspective, and that probably that took an adjustment of the ego, which is hard to do. But what has come out of it is um, something new, something healthy, something um, inspiring, and it's going to be something that the Empress really likes. All right, my friends, that is it for Scorpio. Wishing you guys the best. Have a wonderful month. Stay healthy, stay well, and I look forward to reading for you again in a few weeks. All right, thank you.